In the same exact month that scientists at MIT have discovered how to reverse climate change. Yes, true story. I'll put a link in the description below to that video. Check it out if you haven't already seen it. An Italian startup called Energy Dome began to commercialize the world's first CO2 battery. Now this battery uses carbon dioxide to store renewable energy on the grid. And Energy Dome says the technology can be quickly deployed anywhere in the world. Wow. Don't you just love science? Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm the Electric Viking. Great to see you. My name is Sam Evans and I'm coming to you from Melbourne, Australia. We made over the last 12 months, I think, over 1,700 videos talking about this kind of stuff, new battery technology, new electric cars. If that's what you love. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Now, this is the Italian startup called Energy Dome has started to commercialize the world's first CO2 battery. Now, I don't know about you, but I like the idea of this. On the 28th of June, Energy Dome announced that it had secured 11 million US dollars in funding which will enable it to buy equipment for a 20 megawatt and 200 megawatt hour, 10 hour duration facility for Italian utility A2A, which, with which it has a memorandum of understanding. The Evolution Fund of Asset Management Company CDP Venture Capital, CDP Venture Capital together with existing investor Barclays, led, led the convertible funding. Swiss family office Novum Capital Partners an existing shareholder in Energy Dome also joined the round. With the closing of this latest convertible round, Energy Dome has now raised a total of nearly 25 million US dollars since the company emerged from stealth mode in February 2020. Its Series B round is planned for later in 2022. What does all this mean? This means this technology, this company has already signed an agreement with an energy company. This product is not, it's not vaporware. It's legit. Clearly it works. Otherwise an energy company has wouldn't have signed them up to actually make this battery part of their energy network. That's the exciting news. Now, what is the world's first CO2 battery? Well, Energy Dome cited the CO2 battery in Sardinia to favor speed to market and ease of execution, as it's in an industrial area with an existing electrical connection. Further, Sardinia currently uses coal, but the fossil fuel will be phased out by 2025 because it's too expensive. Renewable energy is cheaper. The battery can be paired with both wind and solar. Meaning what? The perfect renewable solution. Now, Energy Dome began its operations in February 2020 and has progressed from a concept to full testing at multi-megawatt scale in only two years, which is almost unprecedented. Energy Dome founder and CEO Claudio Spadassini said, the CO2 battery is now commercially available to make cost-effective renewable energy dispatchable at a global scale. This is not some small-scale product. They want it to become a solution worldwide. Energy Dome asserted that its CO2 battery facility in Sardinia uses off-the-shelf equipment available from a globally established supply chain and said that rapid global deployment of the CO2 battery is now possible without any major bottlenecks. The company has secured multiple commercial agreements, including one with Italian utility A2A for the construction of the first 20 megawatt five hour facility Earlier this year, Energy Dome also signed a non-exclusive license agreement with, with Enceldo Energia, a power generation plant and component provider to build long-duration energy storage projects in Italy, Germany, the Middle East, and Africa. Now, Energy Dome's plan is backed by investors that include European deep tech venture capital firm 360 Capital, Barclays, Novum Capital Partners, and the third derivative. This battery is a long way into production. This is the real deal. I mean, I couldn't be more excited because you hear so many videos on YouTube that is completely bogus. They're just like, hey, some dude says that this battery can save the world. Isn't it amazing? Nothing ever happens. It's just like, it's just vaporware. It's fake. It's kind of fake excitement. This is not how this battery works. CO2 is one of the few gases that can be condensed and stored as a liquid under pressure at ambient temperature. So, as Energy Dome states on its website, it's a perfect fluid to store energy costs effectively in a closed thermodynamic process. It allows for high density energy storage without the need to go to extremely low temperatures. Here's how it works as explained by the CEO or the inventor. 
To charge the battery, we take CO2 at near atmospheric temperature and pressure, and we compress it. The heat that is generated during compression is stored. When we exchange the thermal energy with the atmosphere, the CO2 gas becomes liquid. To generate and dispatch electricity, the liquid CO2 is heated up and converted back into a gas that powers a turbine which generates power. The CO2 gas is always contained and the entire system is sealed. In other words, it's bringing CO2 in from the atmosphere, containing it and using it to generate energy. Incredible. We don't use any exotic materials. The technology uses steel, CO2 and water. So there is no dependency on rare earth minerals, materials like cobalt, lithium, nickel, or anything else like that. He said, this makes our technology geopolitically independent. It can be produced everywhere and it can be used everywhere. Now, this is an extremely exciting innovation as mentioned and posted on the website Electric. The fact that Energy Dome now has the funds commercial funds, the backers, to deploy this product commercially in a number of countries around the globe means it's extremely promising, extremely exciting, and it is, without a doubt, the real deal. Now, the fact that it doesn't use cobalt, nickel, you know, any other rare earth materials like those means what? It's affordable, cost-effective, and it's and it's actually a big advantage when you think about it over normal battery technology. I mean, to manufacture normal batteries, we do have to use CO2 at this point in time. We need to mine the minerals, right? Well, this thing is actively removing CO2 from the atmosphere. It just seems like the absolute perfect solution. Now, I look forward to seeing whether or not this battery can be deployed globally quickly. I mean, clearly the product works. Clearly it's going to be used, but the question is, by how many countries? How many can they make? How quickly can they make them? Now, I have some questions for the company. If you're watching this, please let us know, and then I'll make another video. What is the energy density of the battery? How big is the facility per megawatt hour of stored energy? How quickly can it respond to the grid's needs compared to, say, a peak paint or a normal sort of lithium iron phosphate battery? You know, when you have a power, outage, how quickly can it launch and start sending energy into the grid? How many tons of CO2 does it contain? And what happens, you know, at the end of the, say, the battery's life? Does it release the CO2 or does it, what does it do with that CO2? And also, what is the efficiency of this battery? Now, I don't actually know any of that information right now. Hopefully, there'll be a new information release and we can find out more about this battery in which time I'll have a new video up on the channel telling you exactly what is going on with what seems like, to be honest, some sort of magical voodoo. But frankly, clearly it's not, it's the real deal. Thank you for watching and let me know in the comments section below, what do you think? Are you excited? Are you as excited as me? Clearly I'm excited. As you can see, I'm excited. I'm very, I'm very excited because honestly, this is the kind of technology that could, just might, probably will change the world. Thank you, my friends, for watching. I'll see you again on the next video. Bye-bye.